20 years ago, I started a journey that would end at the banks of the Anacostia River. My voyage began when my friend Caitlin introduced me to environmental issues. In my quest to paddle the shores of a new world unknown to me, I came upon a wave of environmental justice. It was then that I ventured into the world of becoming an eco-feminist. My life has always been one of great struggle. I am a single mom, and when I had my son, having a child out of wedlock was very difficult. I started to develop a lot of fears and anxieties. I was afraid of how people saw me and of making ends meet. It inspires my work as a public servant today. Some years later, I went to my first environmental meeting at Antioch Law School. I was struck by the fact that I was in a room with a lot of white men, and I was among only one or two other African Americans in the room. Despite the jargon, which was difficult to understand, somehow an immediate connection was made, not only to my fellow environmentalists, but the environment as well. The words of one young man stayed with me. In order to save ourselves, we must save our environment. At first, being at the meetings made me realize that I was black, but in time I came to see that it wasn't about black and white. All of us were green. I had lived in Ward 8 for most of my life, and I don't remember ever walking along the river but Caitlin introduced me to it. On one trip, we noticed that men were doing subsistence fishing. Caitlin would implore them not to eat the fish because they were covered in ugly boils. Somehow the fishermen thought if you cut the boils out or fry them out, that they would be just fine to eat. How do you discourage them from consuming this food when it's all they have to eat. My horizons were expanded when I met Robert Boone of the Anacostia Watershed Society. He always seemed to be one with the earth. I was very curious and wanted to learn more about the Anacostia Watershed. So Robert took me on my first canoe trip down the river. I was so frightened of the water but yet found some solace in knowing that I would be safe with him. As we were gliding down the river, I was overwhelmed with this incredible sense of security and peace. As I listened to the swish of the paddle hitting the water, I felt this amazing healing sensation. I think that because of my daily struggles, I was enthralled by this very new experience. It was like my fear of the water and everything else had vanished. Robert was my guide down the river. On the way back, we quietly listened and observed the beauty of the environment. Through this experience, I began to see things through a very different lens. I learned that the Anacostia River, even with all its problems, was a source of healing for a people who are often forsaken and ignored in our nation's capital. My hope is that the river can become a bridge rather than a divider of us and them. Everything in nature is connected by design.